Here we go again with some guns. Okay. Luke will pretend that the past half hour or so never happened. Nice, just catch the beginning of the stream. Hell yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Mixer.com forward slash magkid. Please like and subscribe and do all that stupid shit that I hate promoting. I say it's stupid shit. It's important shit though. I tried Bretton back and square there. Are you watching this next level duking right now? Fucking do it! Fucking do it! Survivor, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not even gonna lie to you, that was super satisfying actually. And the music's not there either. The door's stuck from the other side and won't open. Well, you just know a zombie's gonna come out of there later on. Or a dog or some shit. Where are we going? The gas station that way. A trolley. Is the gas station blocked off? Pay your taxes because they provide for the safety and well being of our special town. Well, safety is one word you can't exactly use. Okay, so gas station. Hexagonal fucking pump. Look at that. A hex shaped hole. Oh, I fucking knew it. Alright, we'll come back to that later. I'm sure that the gas station, in typical Resident Evil fashion, will probably just blow up. afraid of no ghosts. I am afraid of these zombies coming up though. Oh, well, morning mate. It's just like, it's literally almost exactly the same as my dog being asleep over there. Like he's dead at the moment. He is a, he is a dead. But he's just going to wake up in a minute. He's just like, Lonsdale Yard. Okay. Hello, sirs. How are you this evening? Yes, I will take the green herb. I will also take the other green herb. Yo, Luke, how do I promote shit? Ask, ask yourself. Ask Kendra. That was explosive. I fucking ro waved them all out with that. Oh my god. I saw like more than one and I like panicked. PTW. What, pay to win? I have to pay for viewers. 
Well, is that what you're telling me? Oh. It's locked from the other... Fuck's sake, Resident Evil. Come closer. Here, my love. Let me put you out of your misery. You gotta aim. Well done, mate. I said put her out of her misery, mate. And you fucking took eight bullets. Where? Eight bullets. Oh, yeah, in this one, I haven't taken the, um... I haven't made the other set of um, bullets. Dear Diary. Mechanics memo. I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin, so let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages were made in 1968 and then imported from Europe. I don't understand why the continent that I live on um, was so difficult for me to understand. Sometimes they get rickety, but they are still working because they are simple, stubborn, and strong. We can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you'll discover what's once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid the nasty little malfunctions if you check parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that it means even if you can't find another original part, you'd be better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. Wait until Skynet rises. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? Oh, hello, mate. I just mate. ran into your teammate, Carlos. Hey, Carlos, the ladies love my accent. Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? <laughs> There's literally like a person laying here and he's like, ah, 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 dying, I'm bleeding out, I'm bleeding out, help me, help me. And she's like, is somebody injured back there? Hello, sir. Oh, this looks bad. Oh, they're coming. Get ready! Uh, uh, fire! Fire! Stay together! Calm down. You're safe what? now. Everything is gonna be okay. Let's just go in the front carriage and see what Sir Guy Nikolai... I, I don't know what his name was. I don't pick it up. So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. What is with this accent? Why? But Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. Mikhail. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once clock we tower, get eh? and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice. Literally, you know exactly that's the sort of thing this guy would say. As well. We can also use it get as a moving to to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. Okay. Jill, put this on. It's 
It's a little satchel. He put on something sexy for me. I would have thought it was at least Givenchy. It's kind of annoying and it's not. So we got two extra slots now, which is good. What's this? The wrench that can be used to get the fire hydrant. Well, that's what I'm guessing. You use a wrench to undo bolts, don't you? What's this at the front? A well maintained con control room. Can we acknowledge the uh, glaring grammatical error right now? Okay. I open the lock. We need to get this uh, tram on the go. So we need oil and power cable that we had. Uh, I want to get some medicine for the other guy because uh, as Jill so eloquently put, his hurt feel bad. Oops. I'm trying to look at where the nearest, yeah, the nearest save point's a little while back. Lonsdale Yard isn't that kind of just close to Scotland Yard, which is kind of a rip off of uh, our. Oh, fuck. That zombie, like, jabated me. Fucking stay down, motherfucker. Well annoyed at that, actually. Yeah, stay down as well. Kind of annoyed by that. Because I took the head off, the body kept walking. Which meant that I wasn't able to... Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm definitely going to have to make some more ammo in a minute. Yeah, this guy, he's a big old boy, isn't he? There's another one. A novel one. It's so annoying. At least I made a nice tidy pile. Ugh. What is with all these green herbs? What's this? A bronze statue of Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. There's a switch. Will I push it? I didn't mean to get the microphone so close to my face there, to be honest with you. So with something in his hand, will you take the bronze book? I think we can use that near the restaurant. In the restaurant uh, area, there was that kind of waterfall thing, that water feature. And when I tried using it yesterday, I took the plate off and it like tried to electrocute me. So this could all go well, or this could all end in tragedy. That's not the Nemesis music, though, which is good for us. Very good. That was a weird sound there. Oh, I know, mate. I think that's why the game gave you more inventory slots. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the reason why as well. 
chuck you in amongst all those items. Heals. Greens galore. Reloading tool really and truly should sit up with all the ammo. Let's be honest about this. I've got those juicy green herbs. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so. First things first things first. Let's make some more ammo. Now, I must say, this looks extreme. And that's because it is. At least by having that done. So basically what I plan to do, keep the shotgun shells here in the box, reloading tool at the top, keep pistol bullets on me at all times along with that. You take one healing item with you, what I'm going to do, shove that down. Do it like that. We've got our greens and reds all there together. Then we got the full heal item there. Safe puck. Because I'm going to save now. We've got the hexagonal thing which can be used to get into the gas station. Right, so basically I've got a couple of things as you've just said there in the comments. I've got not much to do to now loads of stuff to do. So I think probably the first course of action actually. If I take that bronze book and I take the wrench. Because what I can do is... I can go do the bronze book thing now. Go over to where the fire hose is. Get the fire hose with the wrench. Go use the fire hose. And opposite that room is a uh, save point. And I can then do it like that. Shit, son, I'm smart. Oh. Why have all of these zombies fucking respawned? Why are they all respawned? I'm fucking fuming about that. Watch out for the dogs and the big guy. You are correct. I'm more interested in the fact that why those zombies came back. I cleared that area out earlier. And if it's because of some shit like the water surface can be seen below. Like, oh, you, um, because you made a load more ammo, we've chucked a load more monsters in here. I'm going to take, uh, I will take umbrage with that because I earned it. I went and got those items. I put myself in imminent danger in order to do that. Okay. So. Book. So as long as the book stays there, we're okay. Interesting. But does that mean I have to go put this back on the dude's hands? Let's go. Let's not worry about that just for the moment. I'm getting slightly lost, sorry. And usually my internal GPS when it comes to games is quite good. My internal GPS sound like a 
cooking robot. Ha ha! I'm getting okay at the whole duking the zombies bit. <sighs> right. I'm not going back to the other bit for a couple of minutes, so I'm going to take the wrench and that. I am going to save here because I'm kind of at like a nice, nice point where I can go to either part of the um, town. What warehouse save? I'll never tell. Right, let us go and sort out this uh, fire hydrant. Here's what I don't enjoy. Rooms that are silent. Just throwing it out there. Still not um, ripping me for dodging dogs. Okay, let's get ourselves a JPEG. I guess I will take the fire hose. And then let's go and use the fire hose. Oh, really? Every other time he's like climbed up on the wall. Why this time did he decide to actually swing for me? Ugh. Why are there dogs there now? Why? Damn, she knows how to use that. It looks like she's used to coming a big old hose like that before. Uh, insert stereotypical male joke here. Okay. Alright, I'm not saving. Obviously, I've only just saved. But, 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 but. Keep the wrench on me. Lockpick. Don't need the power cable. We know the power cable goes in the tram. The hex crank goes by thing. So if I take... Why well, I don't think I'm going to need the lighter either. I think the lighter I'm probably safe to keep there. Card Polka, thanks for joining us this, this evening. Hope you're doing well. Okay. I still think this is would have would have been like ten times cooler if like as you're like jetting down the fire, um, Nemesis just starts walking through the flames like stars. Why is it when I when I moan like ah, I always then hear like a zombie respond, a crank. Square, square shape crank as well. Mate. Did you see the way he was like waddling? No. Oh, I was about to take the piss out of those monsters. Don't make me do this, Murphy. I don't want to shoot you. Kill me. Oh, no. I finished. 
not human. Murphy. We, we, we don't have to do this. Please hurry. Before I lose conscious. Before too late. Kill me. Yeah! Are you fucking kidding me? That was so Murphy. overly dramatic. That was completely Why? unnecessary. No. No. <laughs> I love how like Enrico's sitting there like, no, no. But he's the one that like literally just went. Uh, Carlos. Enrico, sorry, Carlos is what I meant. Not Carlos, Carlos. Products, catalogs and company brochures. Sales overview for this quarter. Chemical storage. Access to the storage control by the computer. <laughs> kind of selfish that the game's not giving me any fucking bullets for it. Order sheet. The liquid medicine named VTJ98 is suitable to cultivate the NET type virus. Therefore, we will need to order additional quantities of it. Yes, please. It's always good to run around an area and spam A. X, sorry. Just in case. Alright, there's something glistening here. Let's just make sure. The manager's report. Before you begin your new position, please allow me to give you some advice. Some of the medicine in the storage room is unsuitable. Not are unsuitable. Oh no, plural I guess. Yeah, are unsuitable and their quality will deteriorate under changing temperatures or humidity. Therefore, you must remember to keep the temperature the same in the storage room at all times. You should personally check it every day, although the computer checks if the com checks it around the clock and the machine is not perfect. Try and remember that a machine is no more than a tool to be used by people, which is in direct contrast to... Not direct contrast, it's almost like backing up like is they can't be trusted well like i don't know if you speak to mr mechanic in the tram he tells you that they could be trusted more than humans you must check all personnel coming and going to the storage room many dangerous drugs are stored in there and if any of them are missing you have a serious problem on your hands the door to the storage room is always locked but when you let personnel into it you will need to have them hand in their documents and above all else remember that if you find anything suspicious contact your boss immediately if you forget the password to lock the door, try and remember that it is a word that everyone is familiar with. Don't forget that once a new product is shipped, the password will be updated again. You can always enter the password from the terminal, terminal of the PC for administration. Will I use the remote control? Saf Spring. So does that mean the the password Safsprin? Hey. Cool. Man, if Enrico is Enrico, is it the one that just died? If he turns into a zombie by the time I come out of this storage room, like the gestation period for a zombie turns pretty nutty. High temperature steam pipes. Now, I know that I look like I'm running out of the area, and that's because I am, but I really want those bullets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 
I want to know what this is as well. Oh, really? I guess it was a... Oh, it was an explosive of some kind. You took a lot of damage off me. Yeah, so that was kind of confusing. It didn't look like it was like a... Like, quote-unquote explosive item. It just looked like it was an item that I could... Like interact with, which is why I was trying to kill those monsters. If I knew it was an explosive, A, would have shot it once and killed them all. B, I would have, if I didn't do that, just juke them. Because I'm good at juking in Resident Evil in comparison to real life where I couldn't juke a fucking ball being thrown at me. Uh... Right, square. You go next to hexagonal, whatever one it was. Luck pick. I'm going to keep on you for now. Wrench. I don't think we're going to need you for a little while. Reload the shotgun, bullies. Just because. I know that. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so I've got five slots there. That should be enough to grab everything in that medical storage unit. I like how the host just walked off and disappeared. It's got a mind of its own. It's crazy. To be fair, though, it's not there. You would have thought, like, Jill would have... In like, it's not even gone in my inventory. You thought Jill would have just, like, been able to, like, just pop it on the ground. Leave it there. Or take it. You never know when you can use a hose. keep hearing that silly zombie as I walk past. I know that the last time I come back through here after I get like some fucking item or I've gone through there enough times it's just going to be like, oh hey, here's a fucking um like zombie just smash out the window. I'm on to you Shinji. Right. Let's get in here quickly. Hell yeah. Is there anything else this side? What's this? JP JPEG? Exactly. All you got to do is just look for the JPEGs and we're rolling. <laughs> Will you take the oil additive? Yes. Because I'm sure... Adding this to the machine oil turns it into the ideal oil for use with large size machinery. No idea where that's kept in a medical unit for. Game's frozen. Oh, cutscene. I really don't feel like this is a good thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. All we need now is for fucking Nemesis to turn up. At least I didn't have to turn the valve, because that would have fucked me off. Just 
to wait patiently. Really? Oh shit, look, there's another one there as well. Well, that was kind of unnecessary. I used quite a bit there. At least I didn't get hit, which is the important part. Why is my phone pinging? Okay, so we got our items. Out we go. Knock him over. Yes, please. I blame Carlos. I blame Carlos entirely for that because he was shooting his friend though with a giant ass fucking machine gun. What an absolute dick. Ah, oh, shit, my dog. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking really? Uh, yeah, of course I'm just gonna go straight into a fucking safe room. Right, I need to be two seconds. I just need to let my dog outside. I think he needs to go to the toilet. Back in a second. We're back. Oh, fuck's sake. Right. Mr. Nemesis. We still got to go get the other ammo from the fucking newspaper place again. I only used one shell, so I can keep that in there. Do I just grenade the shit out of him? I can run. And I think that's probably what I need to do. So basically, I think we kind of did that bit. So we've got the additive for the oil. Now, we actually need the oil. And that is in the gas station. Which means that we need to go running up through here again. Am I right in saying that? I'm just trying to get my bearings before I start running everywhere again. I think I'm going the right way. 
passing the mayor statue on the way. Yeah, the mayor statue is a little bit further on. There's another save room just by there, so I can put that in there in a minute. Nemesis disappears after I went into just that one safe room. Last time he was there forever. No. That's because he was just fucking waiting there for me. At least he takes forever to load up that fucking rocket launcher. Man, he fucks me off. Okay, so I have a question about that. Why are there crows inside of a bus? Oh. Yeah, of course. I told you something would happen in the silent room. Didn't expect that, though. The game gets really pixelated here. Holy shit. I mean, if I climbed up, they would have just hit me. I panicked. I made an informed decision. Oh, no. Yes, of course I'm going to go up the ladder. If it means I don't get fucking... I know! She was doing the, um... What dance move was it? The I can't McGregor style. <laughs> he was apparently bitten in the neck until he died. Poor soul. Oh. I'm literally here. Well that was very uh anticlimactic, wasn't it? I'm not going to lie. I thought I, had, I was going to end up having like some face-off with um, Nemesis there. Like it was just going to absolutely like ground pound me. Like, turn me into like mint meat or some shit. Right, so we did quite well there, actually. All things considered. Only taken minimal hits. That was what we wanted, wasn't it? I'm tempted to take this as well. I don't know if I need to add it to the oil in the gas station or not. Let's err on the side of caution. And if I don't need it, then we've kind of got a lockdown on where these uh, boxes are right now. Oh, mate. Pro level duking. Do you see that? That was fucking Duke City. Population me. Damn, I'm good. It was this way. Yeah. Because that way was where, that's where the water is. So we go up through the park and that was this was where uh, the guy the statue was and that's also where the bullies are the bullets the uh, handgun type a I might take a quick diversion and grab them haha -ha, sucker today is the day that you almost took a chunk out of me he wasn't interested in me. He had too much to eat. Fucking hell, vomiting up like that. Disgusting. You know when shit happens for no reason and it fucks you off? 
That was one of those situations. Also, and this is, this is kind of getting into the weeds of it. Why do zombie games and zombie movies and all that always have ferocious zombie dogs? Like, you never see a fucking, like, Scotland Terrier or a fucking, I don't know, like a Chihuahua, a zombie Chihuahua. <laughs> like, I don't know. You never see that in a zombie game or a movie. Like, they're always meant to be intimidating, like Dobermans, Rottweilers, that kind of thing. I know, I know why. Because it's not exactly intimidating if you have a little Westie or something that just looks at you and goes... Rah, rah, rah. Regardless, I would like to see some variety in my life. Zombies are chowing down. That'll do. Oh, do you know what? You're fucking me off, mate. You being there. That'll do. At least that way. There's one zombie out of the way and I can just kind of make my way through that tiny little part with ease. Cool. Bullet types. A, so I've got how many of those now? One, two, three, four, five. Cool. We're looking good. We're looking good. Especially in our little tube top. That black leather skirt. It looks leather. Probably faux leather, but whatever. We're not here for that. We're here for zombies and nemesis and fucking doing my head in. Haha, <laughs> silly woofers. You keep eating on that already eaten flesh. this I have a question I have another question why is there a battery inside of a statue for what the sake of literally having a blue and a red light I have so many questions That battery we can use in the construction area bit that we ran away from Nemesis in. So we can either continue on towards the gas station or we can make our way back here and go to the elevator. Either way, listen, we're going the other way. Fuck's sake. <laughs> I was literally just about to go to the gas station and then zombies come flying out the wall. I'm Gucci. I'm alright. I think I'm going to uh, take a pass on that. I'm going to take a pass on that for now. Let's get this um, battery bit sorted. See what's up there. See what we can do. Uh, we're going to put the crank and the additive back in here for now. Just for the moment. And keep the battery on us and the lockpick. You never know when the lockpick comes in handy as well. Which is annoying because you can probably come across like tons of cool stuff. I'm just killing this one because... I thought I was pretty safe in this. Uh, you're, you are dead. Good. Ha ha! Juked once again by the Juke Master.
Don't want to get caught with my skirt down. Why is this body always here? His expression shows insane agony and pain. Oh, he doesn't show anymore. He's fucking dead. Oh, we're going down. I thought we were going up. I'm not going to lie. Microphone. Behave. One bullet left, may as well use it. Of course there's an explosive bit there. I didn't expect this door to open. Oh shit. Red herbs. Alright, alright, alright. Let's just take stock of the situation here. Oh, we can go in. I'm great in those red herbs, just in case I, for some reason, can't make it back this way. Red herbs are rare and precious. And we always need them. I'm kind of annoyed I wasted all those shotgun shells now. It's locked from the other side, okay. I just wanted to double check that before continuing on in this area. Because if I could have just used the front door there, would have saved a lot of trouble. Okay. High voltage control room. The lock will be released at 115 to 125 volts. Do I have a pen nearby? I do. Oops, apologies. Low voltage. Control room, the lock will be released at 15 to 25. That's quite a difference. Let's just explore the room first. There's a transformer that supplies power to the facility. It seems to be set to auto. Life gives you lemons, you make shotgun shells. There's nothing that I can combine either. An old emergency exit, the rusty knob won't turn. LOL! Okay. Again, sounds annoying, but I'm going back to the save box, because, to be honest, I should probably end it here for tonight. Being 10 o'clock here in ye olde England. I've got the notes of the voltages that I'll keep on me. Get out of it. Do you know what, bitch? Good job, game.
I may as well have cleared the area out, basically. That does mean, though, that a lot of that handgun ammo has now been used. As well as, obviously, the shotgun bullets. Shotgun shells, sorry. Right. Do you reckon I can take that battery back? Might be able to use it later on. Okay, so I can go back and do the power station really quickly and end it there afterwards, or I can leave it here for tonight. Mm. What do you reckon, Lukey boy? Should I do that power station bit or should I leave it for this evening? Tell you what. You uploaded this evening. Yeah, I'm going to be uploading it tonight. I basically, as soon as I finish the stream, while I go get stuff sorted for work the next day, I'll let it un upload. How long is it? I probably think we're probably looking at. Uh, let's have a look. OBS. Uh, just shy of an hour. Busy a coyote. Hello, how are you? Let's do the power station. Let's do it. I'm not wasting bullets on you, mate. And again, kind of wish I wasted bullets on him. Bonus long stream. Hell yeah. That's what we're talking about. But it is literally just going to be the power station bit because I do need to go to bed. I am feeling ill and I've, I've done two days worth of bonus streams already. Like Tuesday, Wednesday is meant to be my days off of stream. We've got another person in chat. Say hi. Hello. How are you? You doing well? So, we have the two voltages, the two voltage doors, sorry. Uh, we can go high voltage or low voltage. What do you reckon we should go for? Right. That's 15. That's 30. 45 takes it to a VAT. And then... 
by taking it to 120, we open the high voltage door. Let's see what's behind door number one. Do I spy a magnum? Oh no. Oh shit. Head to the emergency x-ray, increase electricity output. Let's watch these mothers burn. No. Forty. Okay. I'm smarter than the average ginger. I was actually just fucking about with the buttons then and still managed to do it. I'm happy with that. Will I take the fuse? I mean, I kind of guess I have to. I don't know what is the fuse, though. But at the end of the day, I'm just happy I got a magnum. Look at this bad boy. The SNW M629C, a large stainless steel revolver, a classic type equipped with weights to reduce the recoil. It uses 0.44 magnum bullets, so at this moment in time, I only have six bullets for the Maggie. A fuse for the high power supply to be used for large size machinery. So enough words. I needed that for the um What you call it? I needed that for the tram. Well there we go, we did it. I love the smell of charred corpses. I'm happy that they burnt though. I was afraid they were going to bust in and I had to use the emergency exit to run out. Just because we like explosions. So, we've done the medical place medical plant or whatever it is and we picked up the oil additive can I pick up the battery no okay we did that silly puzzle with the um, to get the battery which came out of a statue for some unknown reason um, and we ran away from nemesis a lot that also happened Created bullets. Used lots of bullets. Oh no. I ran the wrong side of him. But I don't think now that I actually need to go back in that other direction. I think I'm pretty safe. Let's make a green and a red because I don't like being on that low health. Fuse. Put you there. Magnum. Up there. I don't know how to make Magnum ammo. I don't even know if you can make Magnum ammo. Because if we could, you bet your ass I'd be making all of it and then just living on it. Um, Safe puck there. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to take one of these. Take one of these. No, that'll do. Sorry, apologies. Save it. And that will do it for this evening. Uh, got a lot done actually, after the initial part where uh, 
I kind of wasted like 40 minutes going about the other part of the city and cocking up really badly. Hence the bonus part of the stream. Um, as always, Mission, thanks for popping by. Do appreciate it. Busier Coyote, thank you for popping by as well. Do uh, appreciate it. I am available. Available. Well, yes, I am available, but no. Um, I'm going to be streaming uh, tomorrow from 7 p.m. Uh, through till 10 p.m. That's England time, because good old England. So, yeah, uh, until tomorrow, enjoy. Uh, this is going to go up on YouTube. You can see the link at the bottom of the screen there. So, thanks a lot for everything. See you soon.